The Ford Explorer has been a popular family SUV for more than 30 years. How does the latest generation keep pace with the world's most demanding crash tests? Let's examine its safety performance and determine if it will make a good choice for you and your family. First up is the small overlap crash test. With only 25% of the Explorer's front end striking the barrier, this test concentrates the crash force and really challenges the vehicle's crumple zones and structure. Overall, the Explorer performed fairly well. There was, however, a concerning amount of intrusion into the lower part of the driver's side occupant compartment, coming in at a significant 21 centimeters. This stress on the structure is visible in this picture, which shows parts of the lower compartment separating from each other. This contributes to moderate crash forces exerted on the lower legs and feet. More significantly, though, is that it signals that the Explorer's structure is tapped out. This means that a slightly more severe collision could cause significant structural collapse. Notably, the front passenger side did not have this intrusion issue. Injury measures were also low on the passenger side. The seatbelts and airbags do a good job of ensuring dummy movement is well controlled on both the driver and passenger sides. Next up is the updated moderate overlap crash test. This test now contains a dummy in the rear to give us valuable information about how backseat passengers are protected in a frontal collision. It's mostly good news for the Explorer in this test. The rear seat lap belt remained in the ideal position on the abdomen throughout the crash. The crash test dummy did record a moderate risk of injuries to the rear passenger's head or neck. The rear dummy's head also came into close contact with the front seat back. These are relatively minor issues and the Explorer earns the highest rating of good in this test. Let's switch gears and look at the updated side impact test. This evaluation recreates what would happen if the Explorer was struck on its side by a 4,200 pound SUV at 37 miles per hour. The Explorer's structure held up quite well in this test. The space between the B pillar and seat center line is a generous 24.5 centimeters. Most injury measures are low, with only the driver's pelvis having a moderate risk for injuries. This is a near-perfect performance in this evaluation, and the Explorer earns the highest rating of good. Having a strong roof is crucial during a rollover crash, as it helps to maintain the occupant's survival space and reduce the risk of injury or death. The Explorer withstood just over 24,200 pounds of peak force, which is a solid performance and enough to earn the highest rating of good. Of course, the best crash protection system is one that can help avoid a collision altogether. An automatic emergency braking system uses cameras or sensors to detect an imminent collision and autonomously applies the brakes. The Explorer's standard and optional systems underwent testing at speeds of 12 and 25 miles per hour. At both speeds, the vehicle avoided or nearly avoided a collision. Let's now evaluate the performance of the headlights, as they play a crucial role in reducing the extra hazards that driving at night can pose. The Explorer has two headlight variants available, and they are both rated acceptable. The base headlights do well in most straightaway conditions, but fall a little short in the corners. The upgraded headlights do better in most of the corner conditions, but struggle in the straightaway. Both headlight variants are aided by high beams that automatically turn on. Overall, while the Explorer is not perfect, it does many things well, and it makes a solid choice in the mid-size SUV segment. It has a strong performance in the updated moderate overlap and side impact crash tests, and also has a strong roof. The automatic emergency braking system also works well at avoiding collisions with other vehicles. Some safety concerns with the Explorer include high amounts of intrusion into the driver's footwell in the small overlap test, and headlights that don't project enough illumination. The Subaru Ascent is also another safe option in the mid-size SUV segment. This card will take you to a full safety review video of the Ascent. Thanks for watching. If you found this video valuable, please drop a like and subscribe to see more resourceful videos about auto safety.